Hi guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to Bright Moves. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're here in Portola Springs in Irvine, back in Portola Springs. We are right next to the Portola Springs Elementary School, which is right there over the wall. Today, we're looking at this brand new listing, just came up in the market today, listed for 1,625,000. Let's go check it out. Right as we walk in, we have a little nice entrance area. All the way down, we can see all the way through the house to the backyard, which we'll look at in a little bit. Let's look at what is on your right side as you walk in the door. Again, entrance, you have a little nice area to put your shoes. Over here, you have a little closet. If you keep going down, there is a full bath right here. Right next to the bathroom, this is where our laundry room lives. And a side entrance to our garage. Um, it's a very nice, simple two-car garage. And it's got solar, so very, very cool. Coming out of the garage, back at the entrance of the house, let's look at what's on the left side. So here's a very tiny guest bedroom. Um, I wouldn't say it's very big. It's big enough for a queen bed. Over here you can see the outside where we came in the door. It's got a very cool sliding closet. Not much room, but hey, it's a guest room. All right, now let's look at the biggest room in this house, which is the great room. That's what they call it. It's the kitchen, dining room, and living room all combined together. First, let's look at this kitchen not my favorite um, it looks like it has been a rental house because of this fridge um, no sane person would have such a small fridge if you would live in a house like this uh, center island is not the biggest i'm not the biggest fan of it but at least it's got storage uh, same for the stove and the microwave setup now for a 1.6 million dollar house uh, i don't want to feel like i'm in a trailer park so i would definitely upgrade this also the sink, I don't like these partition sinks and this dishwasher looks like it's from 2001. So um, overall, not a big fan of this kitchen. Now, let's look at the good things about this uh, great room. Uh, very, very big area surrounded by the backyard, right? This is your entertainment area. You would have your TV right here. Although I think I would have it on that wall closer to the kitchen over there because it's brighter over here. But let's take a look at the yard outside. Here we're in the backyard. It's a pretty decent sized backyard. Um, I would have done better with all the tiles here on the bottom, but they have a decent selection of plants. And over here, the backyard extends all the way down to the front of the house. So you have a little sidewalk area on that side. Um, I think it's, it, it'd be nice if you had some pets, some dogs and cats, they can run around back here, or you can plant, have a little garden, uh, have a little barbecue back here. But um, privacy is not this house's strongest feature as your neighbors can all see what's going on down here. So um, yeah, maybe take that into consideration. Now that we've seen the backyard, it's time to look at the final room on the first floor. Right here, right smack in the middle of the living room, we have the entrance to our master bedroom. Follow me. Small and awkward entrance, big enough for a table, right? As you walk in here, it's a pretty decent sized room. Lots of echoes, lots of windows. These two windows look out into your yard. This window, however, looks out into the driveway where everybody backs out, where all the cars come by. So it might get a little loud in the mornings and at night when people leave and come back for work. But it's got a, a raised ceiling, very cool. Over here in the corner of the master bedroom is the walk-in closet. The lights are a little depressing, but there's plenty of space for his and hers's clothes. You have lots of space to hang your clothes, although I don't know about, um, I can say the same about these two little spaces here. Uh, there's not much clearance, I don't know where you would hang right there. 
Right next to the walk-in closet is the master bathroom. One thing I want to talk about in this very ordinary bathroom is this thing. I think it's the first time I've seen one of these. It looks like it's a dehumidifier or humidifier. I don't know, but every single bathroom in this house has one of these. Now, that's it for the first floor. Time to look at what's on the second floor. Right as you come up the stairs, we have a little play area or you can use this as an office. There is enough space to put a very long desk or if you want a TV and a couch somewhere. But this is a very nice little quiet area for the people that are upstairs. Now, there are two rooms upstairs, which makes this house a four bedroom. Um, the two upstairs rooms are identical in size uh, with the exception of this one right here has more windows and lets more light in than this one on this side. Across from the two rooms upstairs is the shared bathroom for the two that are upstairs. I'm assuming they've designed this upstairs area for the kids. You, have, you can have two kids up here with their own little study and play area while the parents are downstairs, hence the master bedroom being downstairs, and a guest bedroom for it if the you know in-laws or their grandparents come over to stay at. Speaking of renting, this property is also for lease for $5,250 a month. Um, do with that information what you will with the current conditions. But um, you know, if you're interested, let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions. Also let me know and thank you for watching. See you guys next time.